A lot of people know about Scratch 1.4, and that was released in 2007. However, even fewer people know that Scratch was actually created in 2003. And in today's video, I have access to those very first unreleased beta files, and we're going to mess around and explore them. Stay till the end to see the very first ever version of Scratch, because it honestly looks nothing like 3.0. Without further ado, let's get started. So we're gonna kinda do this in like a reverse timeline, starting with the 2006 versions and moving down to the older ones. This version was the latest one regarding to the release date. Um, it was made in December 2006, while Scratch was released in May of 2007, which is why they both look so similar. This is what 1.4 looks like for reference. And I'm also not seeing too many changes right off the bat. Uh, the save and like the load and the share and all these kind of nav bar buttons up here, they look different. Um, and on the right side, I, f I think those were smaller and I don't remember the green flag and stuff so I don't go like that. But other than that, I'm pretty sure it was just a bug update so let's move on to the next one. Oh, okay, so, um, the cat is the most noticeable thing here. He, uh, let me see if I can... Yeah, he, lo he looks kind of goofy, and this panner too, like, there's literally just this rectangle, and then there's all this open space, so, um, I don't know if this was supposed to run on, like, an older computer or something, but, uh, that, that doesn't really look right. And this is new star thing as well, uh, I don't remember that being here, um, yeah, it just creates a new sprite. And there's also this question mark, which I'm not sure what it does, which is kind of ironic, because it's a question mark just makes a beep sound like huh interesting oh and the sounds I uh, in the sounds tab the icons have changed which isn't really a big deal I guess but I mean it's there the background it used to be on like the side but now I guess it's like kind of like a sprite I guess so that's cool but other than that I'm not really seeing anything too special so I guess we could keep moving on yo okay so the first few things I noticed, um, Scratch Cat is gone, and the categories have been completely rearranged, um, and apparently there's no motion blocks. Oh wait, shoot, uh, I'm in the backdrop, uh, my bad. Um, let me see, whoa, these blocks look completely different, I'm um, in the control tab. Um, I think the font is different too, um, I feel like the blocks shrunk as well. Anyways, all the colors are messed up, um, looks is now red for some reason, um, uh, what's effects? Oh, okay, so it looks like in this version they split up looks and effects, um, and later they combined it into what we see now as the purple looks. These hot blocks though, they're, they're kinda trippy, um, it looks like they, instead of associating the block with what, like, what type it is, they associate it with what the block does, so like, um, repeat loops and conditionals are like orange, uh, hot blocks are like purple, and everything else is basically like the shade of blue. Anyways, wait, what? Wait, hold on. What? The green flag and the, the stop sign, they're, they're gone, it's just start and stop now. Um, that is pretty cool though, because like, we're only talking about the span of two years, and how much it has already changed is already pretty wild, so, uh, yeah, let's keep moving. Hey, yo, what the heck happened? <laughs> Bro, literally everything changed. Okay, so this version is December 2004, while the previous one was February 2005. So it's only about a three-month difference, and the amount of change here is actually insane. Like, the workspace and the block palette, um, and the categories, the, the, it's literally, everything's changed. And I'm seeing some new buttons here too, like um, this scratch cat spawner, um, and I think that's a paintbrush, yeah, at least the paint editor. And also, while I was just talking to some of the blocks, it's obvious that many blocks actually haven't been added yet. Um, but there is this new category called procs, um, and there's literally nothing. Oh! Oh, okay, so this is kind of, um, like, the functions, or make your own block, basically. So, that's actually really cool. Um, so instead of having to make one, you just drag it out, and then it automatically spawns in a new one. But you don't get to name it, it's literally just called script 1, script 2, and it just goes off from that. So that's actually really cool. So, I think prox is short for process. It's basically another word for function, so, uh, yeah. 
And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but uh, sounds have not been invented yet, so it's just scripts and costumes. Oh, I know, they are here. Uh, it's with basically in the costumes tab, so that's interesting. Additionally, the green flock is now just a circle that says go, and it's super tiny and in the corner. And I'm willing to bet that you wouldn't even recognize this as Scratch if I just told you. Um, this looks nothing like Scratch, and I'm pretty sure the vibrant colors are more aimed at, like, little kids or something. Uh, I, I don't really know. And there's some new blocks, too, like, for example, um, this done and output. Which I'm not really sure, I don't know what they do. What's the purpose of done if stop all exists? Huh. But, yeah, now let's go even farther back. Finally, the moment you've been waiting for. The very first ever version of Scratch, Scratch 0 0.1. Uh, well, there aren't any starting sprites, and it's extremely blank. Um, uh, um, there's no starting sprites, so I guess we're just gonna use the Scratch Cat spawner again, but, uh, where do I place him? Oh, okay, so, I thought this was the, um, I thought this was the block panel, um, but it's actually the stage area, which makes this the block panel, which is horizontal now for some reason, um, and that makes this the, the script area. It appears that there's no more category buttons, and now it's just a drop down. So, that's new. Um, it looks like there's also some new categories as well. For example, um, file, which has load and save. Uh, there's mouse slash keyboard, which is kind of like a sensing subcategory. Uh, and then there's testing, which is kind of just boolean values. Um, so, that's, that's pretty useful, I guess. And there's math, which is basically... Um, operators or numbers depending on which version you're talking about uh you can clearly tell that the scratch team was experimenting with different formats of this new visual coding style um and it's pretty crazy to see how far they've come um but honestly like since it's such a beta version there's not too many features or anything special about it like uh it's pretty basic which is good for 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 the very first version um, um, but, here's the deal. Let's get this video to 1k likes, and I will make a game in Scratch 0.1. This very version that you're looking at. Um, it'll be a pretty fun challenge, and I want to know if you want to see something like that. Um, and if you ever want more content like this, just like, subscribe. It's honestly the easiest way for me to identify that you like more of this content, and want more of it. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.